God be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. When I look at this commission, Brother Addison, I see a mission statement that's been given. And you've been equipped to go and do the preaching, right, of the gospel. Well, it says, Elder John says, you have already been given permission to use the weapons, to use the power that has been given to you and anointed to you to preach the gospel. And then the Holy Spirit working with you, verse 20, is the one that will confirm what is us, Brother Addison. He's the one doing what? Confirming the word. He's working with them. Yes, sir. And yes, confirming sir. the word. Yes, sir. Him. And and that's the whole key is that the Holy Spirit is not gonna work outside of the will of God. And we need to always understand that that power that you have brother John, elder johnson is that you have the power <laughs> what you got the puppet for <laughs> you, you, have, you have the power and brother, as you've been given permission to allow the power to operate in this realm Hello. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me show you. What, I, 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 I finally get it because right now this puppet, I, I, wave your hand. Wave your hand. What? Why? How's he waving his hand? Cause you gave. Yeah, you go. Uh -huh. I'm waving. I'm waving his hand. Thank you, right? I'm in him. If power can to wave his hand, I say yes, wave your hand. You yes, show you wave his hand. Now, does he have power to do anything of himself? No. Wave your hand. <laughs> Even though, so that's this, and I think this kind of gives some clarity because I, I have another friend that is like mission. It's a mission statement. He's army too. He's a special special ops. He's a special ops. Right. When they operated, they they pretty much operated as separate operating agencies. Once they got in the field, right. Right. Giving it objectives, and they went forth using their ingenuity and everything else that they they were acquired to accomplish the task that they had been trained to do. Yes. And he thinks like that right now. And he preaches the gospel and he preaches it with fervor. But the question for me, and this is where my, 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 my struggle has been in the last few months, is he operating under the leadership, under the guidance of the Holy Ghost? Is, our, is the Holy Spirit operating through him? Or does he think he has understanding what the Holy Ghost is saying and he's got his information and went off with it in a, in, to accomplish the task? My thought, and I'm just throwing it out there, I'm not saying this is how it is. My thought is that there's never separation between the one that's giving uh, a direction and the one that's doing it, if it's working right. When Jesus said, as the Father works, I work. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's he has a visual of something or some kind of perception of something that's happening in the spirit realm, and he's basically mimicking it. Right. Can the image in a mirror move aside from the 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 the, 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 the entity that's actually causing the, the operation? So, and I could be wrong again. Y'all got to help me out with this because this is where I'm struggling right now. I think this Johnson is now. I think when God waves his finger in the spirit. My finger should be waving. Oh, you you have to be more like a puppet. Yes. I, yes, I, I thank you. That's, that's why that's why I brought the little thing here. Like puppet <laughs> and, and I don't I don't think that I don't think that that's what it's saying. If, if you look at the uh, I think you've been given marching orders as a soldier in the army. And brother I said, read it again. I mean, start again what we just read. The beginning slide. Look look it says there's a consistency throughout these scriptures here. Okay. The wow. spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the broken heart, proclaim liberty to the captive and the opening of the prisons to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to 
comfort all that mourn. And, and then in Luke, let, let me ask you this. I'm just curious. This, I'm just curious how you think about this. Pardon? Does, does the significance of the anointing give you the authority to act? That's what I'm, to me, I'm saying that that's what I'm getting from that. Good question. The authority, because I used the, I really brought back Isaiah 61. Jesus was given the authority to go preach good tidings. So he said, the Lord has anointed me to do certain things, right? Which is go preach. No, that's, no. that's the anointing. That's the mission statement. That's the, that's the objective, right? So yes. Jesus, this is what Jesus said. This is what scripture says about Jesus. It says, then was Jesus led of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted. Come on. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. Even with that anointing of pride to the Yeah, anointing. right. But with, and, 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 and if, if Bishop, just since you get ready to say it, what I'm saying is we, that's why I'm saying we're not toothless because when Jesus went into the wilderness led by the Holy Spirit, yeah, but that's one of the things we got to understand is hard to go to the wilderness. Huh? Jesus didn't initiate or decide to go to the room. No, he was led by the Holy Spirit. Now, when you were led, then that implies that what you're being led out there for, that the Spirit who initiates them, yes. continue to work to fulfill whatever you're out there to do. Yeah, yeah. but, but yeah. He, go ahead. That's what it says about us. Romans says, they that are led by the Spirit are the children of God. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. They are the sons of God. Right. Come on. Now, Ephesians goes on to say that our eyes are being enlightened mm -hmm. yeah, to know. Listen carefully. It doesn't say your eyes have been enlightened. It says your eyes are being enlightened so you can know. So that means that never is there a place or time in this, inside of the body of Christ where well, you know what to do. Come on. Unless it's being revealed to you. Come on. Come on. Now, now watch this. When it's being revealed, now, the revelation has a purpose. Yeah. If you go back to Lazarus, in Jesus' case, Jesus said that Lazarus' death, sickness was not under death. Mm -hmm. Now, that said, there's something has gone on between him and the Father even before they ever leave the place that they're in. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, when he was talking to the disciples. Yeah. See, Jesus is interacting with the Father even before they ever go down to the place. Yeah. What happens down at the place is a result of what has already been. Amen. I agree. Right. So now if you go to John, now this is where it really gets serious in chapter five. Now, why does Jesus say there are two verses you ought to pay attention to in John chapter five? That is verse 19 and verse 30. One second. The authority of the Son. Uh -huh. Yes. Verse 19 says, you see, Jesus answered. Now, this is the, the background is this is the Jesus has gone down to the temple in the pool where all these sick folks are. There's a lame man that's been lame for 38 years. This is the man that Jesus observes and watches as people are trying to maneuver their way to the water. And he asks this lame man, do you want to be made whole? Yeah. And the lame man kind of, you know, I can understand his question. What, what do you think I'm here for? <laughs> <laughs> the only reason uh, I'm here because I want to be whole. But every time I come, you know, I, I get... Yeah, I missed my chance because I can't move other people get in before me. Mm -hmm. Jesus, what Jesus is really trying to assess is, does, is there anything in this man that would allow him to work the work that God has sent him to do? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he goes on, he does that. Uh, he gets us in trouble. <laughs> and so in this verse, he says, uh, Let me back at the verse 15. I'll just back at the verse 15 to give you a bit of context. Okay. Uh, the man has been made whole. Uh, 
he come back and he come back to Jesus to talk to him and said that the man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus which had made him whole. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. Right. But Jesus answered them, my father worked hitherto. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I work. And I work. Come on now. Okay, hey, now, 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 let's stop right there now. Let's kind of. So, so what is Jesus saying? Now, now, I want if you, I know that's a rhetorical question you're asking, but I do want to say. That's, not, you, that's not a rhetorical question. No, no. no that's not a rhetorical question. I, I want, I want to, but I think I want to use that prop you got over here. This, this, uh, Elder Johnson's prop. Yeah. And, and, and I don't, I don't. Are you not saying that we're puppets? When I, think, when I think we are puppets, but you have to understand what the string is. Come on now, talk to now, you. There are two kinds of puppets. This particular puppet uh, is a hand puppet. There's other, there's string puppet. Yes, sir. In, either case, in either case, in our case, we are intelligent puppets. Uh, Puppet with a wheel. Yes, wheel. sir. And what we are at now, now when you get saved, yes. it's expected that you understand yes. that you have surrendered your will okay. to that hand. Uh-huh. In other words, you ain't decide nothing on your own. Zero. You you yes. ain't making you ain't because you're blind. Okay. Zero. Ephesians, see, Ephesians 5 says, if your eyes are being enlightened, that means the part from your eyes being enlightened, you don't you don't see. And that's why the scripture says you ought to be we're being led. We're okay. being led because there are things that we don't know. Yes. But how often does God communicate? I don't think what I guess I'm trying to make sure for, for any believer is you move, do you follow the instructions given? Until you hear otherwise, meaning, that's right. With meaning, meaning, brother Addison, if if you've been told to preach here in Warner Robins, you preach here in Warner Robins until he tells you, "I want you to go to Maryland." You know, so your last instruction is what you follow. That's what I'm trying to say, oh, Bishop. Let me let me say that, something. That free will I, you have but, is but, to go by the instructions given, and then I think as you move. And I guess we can use the example of uh, Brian Addison when he was told to pre talk to somebody. I guess it was an airport. No, it was it was at a Waffle House. Okay, yeah, you always said it to the Waffle House, right? Yeah. And, and you heard instructions. Yeah, and I didn't even follow the instructions because I wanted more. And this, I think, I think what you're saying now is that if he had followed instructions, he would have got more instructions, or it would have came, you know. It, it would reveal through the conversation. Okay. Yeah, I think we have. has been saved to be a witness to the gospel. Yes. Why does he need to be told to go over there and talk to the people? Well, because really? you can't talk to everybody, right? You mean the scripture said uh, that you, you can't, the scripture said you can't cast your prayer before before swines, right? Because they, they, they don't want really to hear it. But I'm well, saying- Well, it didn't say you can't. It says don't. No, right. Right. In other words, don't waste your time. Because <laughs> look, he wouldn't have said don't if people weren't. <laughs> uh, well, well, let me raise a question. Let me raise a scenario. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to just say this as a side note before I go any further. Brother, you shouldn't have been at Waffle House. You should have been at the auto house. That was your first mistake. Anyway. <laughs> and so so here we go. We got Tom, we got Tom Brady. Plenty of years experience. Knows the game. And uh, probably just as smart about the scheme of the game as any offensive coordinator, yeah, uh, coach, or whatever. He got a mic. He got a he got a speaker in his helmet, the microphone. He's in direct communication at all times with the offensive coordinator. Offensive coordinator sends him a play. Yes, yeah, sir. Come on, come on, come on. And that's the play he calls. But yes. oftentimes, he on the field may see something different. Yes, sir. And call and call an audible. Yes. He overrides what the office coordinator told him to do. 
Now, in my opinion, Come on. in this thing, it's online real time. You Come don't on. get the call. You don't get the call. Nah, nah, you don't get the call. No audible. Ain't no audible. No, you, the, you don't get the call. No audible. Amen. Whatever he told you to do, that's what you do and nothing different. Amen. Yeah. And if he wants you to do something different, he'll he tell you something different. If he don't yeah. say nothing different, you, you, can't you, press you, on you do what he's saying. Head. You don't call the audible. You can't decide that, oh, look like they're going to run a blitz. Maybe they didn't see that coming. So now you go override and change the whole offense. I don't think we get to call no audibles. I think no, we, we have don't. to take our commands. When I was in jump school, we was taught one thing. Yeah. You take all your commands <laughs> from the tower. Yeah, if it don't come down from the tower, you don't move, son. You don't move, son. And if the tower say this, that's what you do, plain and simple. And I think that's where we need to be is that we take all our commands from the tower, period. We don't get to call audibles. That's my opinion. <laughs> and, and, I, and, and, and I think that that's, we're, we're not taking our commands from the tower then we're taking them from the other source. Garden of Eden was a great uh, scenario. They had orders from God. They listened to Satan and acted on those orders. Yes, they sir. All of out here in the, out here in the desert of sin. So the, the thing, I th and I think this, this is a pivotal point as far as our our, our our growth is concerned because it's going to determine where we put our effort. I can put my effort into trying to figure it out, or I can put my effort into playing and hearing from the tower. And and and, and I think that's where there, there becomes a breakdown. It has been a breakdown as far as the way we practice Christianity, especially in the United States of America. We read the book, we thought we understood it, and I'm saying I was going through the progress myself. I mean, it's progression myself. I read the scriptures. If they should lay hands on the sick and they should recover. But only, I didn't remember the part, I didn't get to the part where it said that as they were led of the spirit, I can do nothing of myself. It was years later when I read Jesus saying that I can't do this on my own, but the Father has to be working through me and, and I do what he's doing. So I, I failed a lot. Then people didn't get healed. I mean, Let me say one other thing to that, and, and so and so. Oftentimes, I think we call an audible. Yes. And the play works out good. Uh huh. Well. Yeah, so then, mean? so then we think now that we can can continue just to call audibles because what worked out okay. We feel like okay, well, I can I can take the reins now. Mm -hmm. I can yeah. dictate and decide yeah. what's best here because after all. I have the Spirit of God within me. If I didn't hear from him, obviously it's worked out before me positively in the past. So now I can step out in the direction on my own. I think that's where we go wrong at because we do have, I think he gives us success, not him, but the other side gives us success sometimes when we take the reins on our own. And then it encourages us to move without the real time information that we receive from God. I think this media, social media technology is a is a is a microcosm or it shows us some things about how God communicates with us that we didn't understand. I remember when my wife was overseas a long time ago. She sent me an email and then I went to get it. Then I would send her an email back. And so there was a delay and things sometimes we had to wait. Nowadays we can just do FaceTime or whatever, and we can just talk back and forth directly. I'm hearing and everything. So things are different. And I think the Holy Spirit is showing us that as it relates to the communication of media from God, we're at a point where it's real time, online, real time. Yeah. And the connection right. doesn't and the connection yeah. doesn't go down. No, yeah. it, it doesn't go down. I think I think or it shouldn't. I think I think it's important though to make sure that because we we're not just talking to ourselves, we're talking to others and listening, is and I, we just will use, I want to go back to, to John with, with our bishop started off with, but let's go with Addison scenario because that's, that's that kind of where I'm coming from is, he was told to go talk to a group of people. And and you brought up the point, uh, Jimmy, you saying is, he shouldn't have been at the Waffle House. No, I think he was led. <laughs> I was just kidding. I was he kidding. He was just messing with me. I was messing with but him. I think, it, I, think it's, I think it's significant on the part of this, though. He was there at the Waffle House because he had the unction. Not that he was told by God <laughs> to go to the Waffle House. It, it actually, because God knew God is leading us whether we know it or not. Well, he's using us. I was hungry and I needed something to eat because I had been fasting. No, no, it had nothing to do with God, me being at that Waffle House. I, I, I 
I, 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 can, I can honestly say that because I have fasted <laughs> so that I can get my lab work when I went to Dublin. And, and if there would have been a, a huddle house there, I'd have been at the huddle house. No, no. I, but but I there think, was only a waffle house down the street no, from, no, I still from, think that from the VA hospital. Hey, look, but I'm I do you, believe, you believe what? that when you're in position. Okay. And who gets you in position? I think that when you're in position, <laughs> that God will use you if you make yourself available. Okay, and now, the reason, and look, as you're talking, I want to make sure, let's keep in mind, we had a puppet as a prop by Elder, by Bishop. Yeah. Right? Not Bishop, but by Elder. A puppet, right? Uh -huh. they, couldn't, they couldn't wave his hand hey, without being told him I but, think he breathing volitional well, puppet. Yeah. <laughs> but but this is the thing. Oh, yeah. We we can't say that we can't that that's a good analogy. That's that's not a good that's not, but not good for analogy. this. That's not for this. For this. No. That, that don't work for this. And right. the reason why I say that is we can move outside of God. That's why that puppet is not a I, good I enough. I think that's the whole point, right? I want to okay. make sure. So, so, and that's a shame. If we do, is, no, if that, we that do, is, we're supposed to be I dead. Think, I don't okay, think but, but, but let, me, let me finish. Is, 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 well, hold on. The only reason why we're in this position is because we were born. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we were born with the ability to move on our own. Right. Okay. No, no, so, no. But when you came into the Christ, you came into Christ knowing. You came into Christ, he explicitly tells you. You don't come in here and bring with you the life that you have. You was born again. <laughs> yeah, but okay. that's different. I know, I understand I that's that. Different. But see. You gotta become like when, a puppet, you gotta die. You gotta, <laughs> die, to self, <laughs> you gotta die to self, you gotta you gotta self period. You can move, you can <laughs> move on your own, you can. But I think it's a step in the wrong direction. Okay, but I understand that now. And okay, only okay. because of the relationship that I have with my father. Okay. okay. Okay, when I was first born again, I was no different than a than a, a newborn baby. I couldn't hold my head up, <laughs> up on my own. I couldn't move on my own when it came to the things of God. I had to develop. Yes, sir. Into that, I had to move from faith to faith. <laughs> okay. He wanted to, want to stay like that. <laughs> exactly. No. Uh, no. And, and we, but, and, and we go forward. Let me ask you. Let me break up for a second. Are we? Are we making sure we understand that prop he's showing us is not the believer? Are we saying are we that that like that prop or puppet, or there's a, a, a Jimmy? There's some maneuver. Of, of your ability to choose where you do where you going to include going to the Waffle House, I think God set that up. That you went to the Waffle House because you he had a thing for you there. Okay. I think the same thing. But, okay, but, but check this out. If it was God that made me go in that Waffle House to talk to those people, then God's will was not done. Why? But because I didn't talk to him. Oh yeah. I think well, you already. I think you already have already admitted that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But my thing is, in that you, there you was an audible. There you was, called there audible. Was, right. There was. No, 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 no. He didn't call it audible. We, 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 we leave it as a part of the piece of information. He didn't call it audible. See, here what we hear what we see. We, here what we don't understand. God can use us even when we don't know it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You could be, listen, you could have a desire to want to go down to the Waffle House and have no clue that it got anything to do connected yeah. with the kids. Right. Yeah. But just because you don't know. Right. Don't mean that God ain't still, look, and that's the, that's the thing about it. You see, the thing about it is, you see, if Johnson takes his hand out of that puppet, that puppet can still do some stuff. That's it, the difference. It just, it just fulfills what Jesus said in John 15. Whatever that puppet do apart from the hand is counted as nothing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, but but 
It's in the, the flesh. The, the, the whole story to that is <laughs> I still tried to give God the glory by I paid for their meal as I went out without them knowing. Hey, that could have been what he wanted you to do. And no, I, 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 because I didn't do what he told me to do. I specifically. <laughs> and I to do that. You I, did I, I heard without a shadow of a doubt yeah. that I needed to go talk to them. How I did, did not. I wanted more information. <laughs> I wanted yeah. detailed information of the conversation. Oh. God, I did not follow his first initial instruction and then try to do it on my own because I didn't hear anything else. Let me so ask you, what they do? got was a poor uh, hey, hey. representation or or image of Christ. They 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 got a watered down version of Christ instead of the real. Let me ask you a question. How did they know you paid for that meal? He's trying to do well because they because when they got ready to pay, they didn't have to pay. They didn't somebody have to pay, pay for it. Because uh, I got I got the I I went to the counter and I told I said I want to pay for their meal. Did they hear that? And and no. Okay. But I paid for their me. I got their bill. Yes, sir. And I paid for mine and theirs and got the receipt. Okay. That I paid for theirs. So when they got up to go pay, I'm sure they said your meal was already paid for. So let me let me let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. So 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 I'm gonna liken this to he told them. He told them kill everything, the animals, the whatever, yes. whatever, whatever. And then he bragged about. It. I did everything that you told me. Then he asked him, said, then what is that bleeding, the, of, the the, the bleeding of the sheep that I hear then? What yeah. is that? He said, well, well, I, I I, felt like this was a better option. The people told me that I, I should them. keep these to it's offer up sacrifices. Awesome. This is better. I just improved on what you yeah. told me. Yeah. You told me to kill them. I'm going to kill them, but I'm going to kill them as a sacrifice to you. Mm. So this is better than what you said. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm not so sure. In, in my opinion, he was 100%, just as the story told, disobedient to the prophet. Yeah, yeah. That and, and that's way, that's way that I felt. Yeah. yeah, that was audible. But God didn't leave it there. He showed me. It, it was a teachable moment, and I still listened to him. And Absolutely. I Absolutely. Was, he, he did not. It was no different than Adam and Eve. Now, now look at, look at what happened in that his, scenario, though. His, his he conversation is. with me did not stop when I did not fulfill what Amen. he wanted me to do. He right, came back right. and he taught me a lesson that when I hear him, no matter how simplistic Amen. the information is, Amen. to just step out in faith with right. that. Right. Okay, so just do that. that and then whatever else comes will come so it was a it was a great moment obviously etched in my mind because i've been telling you guys i believe i've said this story probably 10 10 20 times by now because it 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 really was a a great teachable moment for me in my ministry and in my life about my relationship with god is it and, possible? And because in my mind, I was under the understanding if God was going to give me something, it would be like, like Jesus knew exactly what these folks did and what he needed to say, you know, because he heard from the God. And, and I don't think it was any different. God told Jesus to go and do a thing, and he went to go do it, and then he spoke to him in the interim, you know, as, 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 it, as it developed. As so it was, it was, it was life-changing for me. Right. It really was. But I do believe that there can be audibles, but it's not one that we take an audible. We request an audible out of love, and God will either yay or nay that audible. You so it's still, it's still because look at what happened when, when, when Jesus was at the wedding. Right. 